I think I've just discovered an incredibly powerful new way to use Notion that's literally only been possible since last week's update. So I'm trying to share this with you as quickly as I can. I've already been using it to automate multiple processes like writing content, replying to customers, project planning, reporting, and I've only really had time to scratch the surface. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can implement this new hack, I guess. I'm super excited to share it with you. So let's take a look. So the big reveal, I'm going to show you how you can save hours every week on work by getting Notion AI to automate tasks for you, not using any Zapier or Make integration. All of this can be done directly in Notion using Notion's new update to Notion AI. And if you're worried about Notion AI, if you've used it in the past and the responses were too generic or it wasn't actually that intuitive or helpful, this approach is going to change how you use Notion AI and it's gonna turn it from this kind of generic chatbot into a really personalized and intelligent assistant. So what is a workflow? You can see a couple of examples that I've just made here for this video. We have customer support reply, SEO article, research keywords. Let's take a look at this customer support reply and you're gonna see that this is a super simple approach that just has three parts to it. So any workflow has three parts. It has some inputs, which is going to be a variable thing that every time you run the workflow, you're going to give it either a keyword or maybe a customer email or an idea or a topic. And this is what you're going to change every time that you run the workflow. It's gonna make more sense in a little bit. So the second piece is an instruction. And for this approach, you just need to create an instructions database where you store these common, basically prompts. So this is the instruction that you'll be sending to Notion AI's assistant to help you complete a given task based on the inputs and this third piece, which is Background. Now, this is the really powerful piece which makes Notion's, Notion AI's assistant so much more accurate and intelligent when it completes the task for you based on the instructions. So, this background is where you can link relevant documents. Again, this is a separate database where you can store basically your knowledge base and you can give really detailed instructions about how the task should be completed. You can give concrete examples of in this case, customer support replies. You can give detailed information about your products, services. Basically, you can be really specific about how this particular task should be completed in the instruction section. And you can give it all of the relevant context in this background section. So let's just run this as an example, just to give you an idea of how it's going to work. Once you have your inputs, once you have referenced your instructions, and you have linked your background, just copy it, click space, paste it, and run it. Now you've probably seen ChatGPT or Notion AI write an email for you before, but really what matters is not the fact that it can write a generic email response to a customer, this is reading the information from my customer support background document where I have listed a bunch of examples and relevant information that I find myself just repeating over and over to customers when they ask what's the difference between business OS and agency OS. So this customer has said that they are curious about Notion templates, about the products that they found on the landmark site. Just as some context, they said they'd run an SEO agency and they would appreciate any guidance. And just based on the instruction and the background, it has basically written something in the tone and style and with the information that I would have written if I were to write this email for them. But realistically, they probably gave even more information because I can't always be bothered to give the full spiel every single time. So. It's given a tailored response for running an SEO agency. I would recommend our business OS template. We also have an agency OS template, but the business OS is more current and offers a broader range of features. So these are the types of things that I find myself saying over and over. And what I did is I just dumped all of that into this customer support background document. So I can show you what that looks like. I have some information about refunds, information about product queries, 
and some questions about like if they ask a notion question and this is a document that I can just add to over and over again as I get more customer response tickets, customer support tickets, and I can improve this background document over time. And then every time I run this workflow, it's just going to reference the most up-to-date information about how do I deal with customer support responses. The instructions, on the other hand, are super simple. Again, I can just edit these and make them as detailed as I want, but basically it's just giving a clear instruction for what the task is at hand. In this case, craft a customer support response, and it's going to reference the information from the background documents. And that's it. Every time I get an email, I could just input the email here and I could run the workflow and get a really targeted response as the output. Just quickly show you another example. We could do this with an SEO article. So again, I have an instruction that I've created here called SEO article instruction. I have a background document with a content example and the input in this case is just an article title or a keyword. So all I need to do is just every time I want to write a new article, just input the keyword. I'm going to copy this, run it through Notion AI, and it's going to give the style and background information that I want for the article, but it's going to be focused on whatever the input that I give for this particular article. Again, if you've ever worked with Notion AI, you'll know that the outputs are super hard to control and they're really variable. So giving this content example changes like everything and how, how useful this tool actually could be. Give another example, researching keywords. In this case, I have uh, an instruction to extend an existing keywords table. I have this document, which is an existing keywords table. And the instruction is basically brainstorm 25 more keywords which I can then add to the keywords table later. So here I just give a topic. In this case, let's say Notion AI is the topic. Click space, paste the prompt and run it. And it's giving me this list of new keywords, which I could then even add into my existing keywords table. So that's just three quick examples of workflows that I could run in my business. I'm going to show you how this works with the other pieces. So where are these instructions coming from? Where is the background coming from? There's only two other pieces that you need to create as well as this workflows database, which is an instructions page. So this is just a database where when I click new, I'm going to add a new instruction. And let's say that I wanted to say uh, new LinkedIn post context. Now I have this new instruction here, which I'll be able to reference later. I might want to also give some background documents. So in business OS, there's by default, there's just this docs database, which you can use directly if you're already a business OS user. If you're not, you just create a docs or documents database. And this is where you can just put in any background information. So one thing that's going to be really useful is to have a business background information where you have kind of the high level points about your business, what you do, what you offer, what your pricing is. That's going to be really useful context for a lot of tasks. And in this case, I might just add a, a LinkedIn post example, content example as a background document. And I would just paste that in here. Now to create a new workflow with that combines the docs and the instructions, all I need to do is click new. It's going to automatically generate that little workflow template for me. The instructions, what I need to do is click type at, and then I'm going to search for the instructions that I just created. So let's just say new LinkedIn post. You should probably name it always as instruction just so it's easy to find, but you can do that probably. For the background, I'm also going to search for that LinkedIn post content example. And in this case, I'm going to, let's call this uh, LinkedIn post workflow. And the input, let's just say new video announcement, how to create a workflow good using it. Yeah. Copy that, paste, and run it. And that's it. So hopefully you can see how the combination of using just a simple input section 
instructions, which are customizable. You can even add multiple instructions here, or you could add multiple background documents. So let's just give my landmark um, business background document. That might be something that I always want to include, so I can include that in my workflow template. Any background that I want to include, I just include it all here. Any instructions that I want to have, I include here. And any variable inputs that are going to change every time I run the workflow, I just input and run and use whenever I need a new customer support reply or whatever it is. So you can build up these workflow processes in your, in your own Notion workspace. Basically any repetitive task where you just need a little bit of intelligence and you can give a clear instruction and some background by creating a workflow for it. It's just going to be a much easier process than trying to find the right place in Notion to make use of Notion AI or using the chat. I found that the chat interface here is actually a bit awkward to work with when you have a large prompt like that and you're trying to reference background documents. So I've created this little workflows system. Um, it's available now inside of Business OS. And if you have a different template setup or OS, I've also added this version of the workflows builder with all of the necessary pieces that you can drag into your own workspace. Uh, this is going to be available in the Landmark Components Library. It is going to be part of the paid all access section, so it's not going to be a free template. But if you've followed along for this whole video, then you should actually be able to recreate this workflow system for yourself. Uh, it's just basically three simple databases that you need to tie together. So again, I'm super excited about this new approach. I think it makes Notion AI way more powerful than just using the chat and it's finally giving you a way to reference all of the documentation and knowledge that you're already storing inside of Notion and put it to good use in these automated workflows using Notion AI. So I hope you found this useful. If you are interested in just using this whole system as well as uh, all these other workspaces for content, projects, tasks, financials, KPIs dashboard with charts, uh, if you want to just use this system out of the box, you can use Business OS. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Otherwise, I hope you found this useful and thanks for watching.